Hi and welcome to yet another tutorial. My name is Carolina and in this tutorial I'll show you how to make this cute dress using my new sewing pattern called Rosie. You can buy this pattern from my shop on Etsy and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. To start, take one shoulder strap and fold it in half, then stitch them so they are approximately 4mm wide. I wanted really thin straps for this dress, so I actually went back and stitched the straps once again because I think my first stitch was around 6mm. Then cut off the seam allowance, but be careful not to cut the stitch line. For such a thin straps, loop turner is really the best option, but you can also use a thick string to turn the straps to the right side. Then top stitch the straps as close to the edge as possible. I have to apologize for the footage here, as I didn't realize that my head was covering my camera. I guess I was too focused on top stitching. Anyway, once you're finished, cut off the raw ends. Moving on to the bodies, take three front panels and pin them together. Repeat the same steps with the inside panels as well. Press the seam open and place shoulder straps on the seams. Then place other front panel at the top, so they are right side to right side, and sew them together at the top edge. Just remember to run a back tack stitch on the straps to secure them in place. With this dress, it's very important to press all the seams after each step. Moving on to the back, we are going to repeat the same steps as we did with the front. Place shoulder straps on the seam and place auto panel on top, right side to right side. Sew the top edge and then press the seam. Then sew together on the one side of the bodies. Moving on to the skirt, overlock both seams of the front panels. If you don't have an overlocker, you can use a zigzag stitch. Mm -hmm. 
place one piece on top of the other, right side to right side, and measure 35 centimeters from the waist down to mark where the split would end. So two panels together, one centimeter from the edge. Then press the seam open and continue to press the rest of the seam allowance. Then pin the seam allowance and top stitch the split. Moving on to the back panel, create darts at the back using notches on the waistband. Of course, press them using an iron and then place back skirt panel on top of the front one, right side to right side, and sew together only one side and then overlook that seam allowance. As the next step, join bodies with a skirt and make sure that all seams match together. Then sew them together and overlock the seam allowance. Also, separately overlock that one side we left earlier. Take a 15 inch invisible zip and sew it to the side of the dress. If you can, use a matching zip collar to your dress. Unfortunately, this was the only one that I had at this moment, but I think white zip goes well with almost every color. Fold the ends of the zip inside and use a zipper foot to sew the zip to the dress.
Again, sorry for the footage, I really had to focus here. Then sew together the rest of the side seam. The finish of the hem, overlook it by one and a half centimeter, and then top stitch. And that's it, your own rosy dress. Thanks for watching.